Hey everyone, this is Cafe doing another video. This time it is a focus video on a creature. Uh, this, this one being the Colts Flower. Um, these are um, large plants that hold undead creatures and they have various different abilities. I've split them up a bit to make it easier. So this corpse is one, technically is one ability, but to make it work in Foundry, I split it to three. Uh, the stench of death is technically an aura that happens automatically, but to make it work, because the way it's worded, I've made it something that I have to trigger each time. So I'll go through them and show you how I've set them all up. So this first one, corpses. Let's pop it open. So this is the initial thing. This is tied to a um, feature. So I was playing with it before. So what happens is um, it has a certain number of bodies attached to it, and this is where the healing and the animate abilities come from. So all I've done to set this up is a um, utility and an item macro and nothing else. Item macro itself, um, I will pop it into the chat um, description below. But you can see here, so all it really does, it does a roll, uh, post the, the chat how many corpses it is, and then what I've done is because NPCs don't have resources, um, I'm using the legendary reactions ability to track this. So I'll show you how this looks when it's used. So if I go corpses, you can see here. This now. Hmm. I don't know how I quite ex expected, but you can see it's now giving me saying that I've got eight. Which tells me something may happen. Um, but yes, yeah, so it's populated eight, so it's telling me this should have rolled eight. Um, a little bit annoyed at that stuff. I did write this a while ago, so I have to check that something may have changed. But all I can do there is just pop the eight in there. It should have done both of those at the same time and done a roll. But so you can see here, I've now got snap. This one has eight. Creatures on there. Uh, this healing one is quite straightforward. It's just set as you would do most things. So healing 2d10, target it upon itself, and that is set to consume uh, one of these resources. So when I use that, it will roll into chat that it's done a heal and takes away one of the zombies off the back of it. And then reanimate. What this does, it creates a new zombie. Um, see here, so same thing. Uh, this one, however, I do use Warp Gate, which you may have seen previously. So with this, let's move this up the way. Uh, just go reanimate, consume the resource. And I can pop a zombie there, and it summons a zombie. Who is its own character, so you do have to have one of the um, whatever you're summoning in your actors list, so you need to have that by the side. Yeah, so you got that there. Um, and it summons that, and you can see it ticks that down for me. And the last thing I've got is this stench of death ability. So. The description. The reason I've not automated it is because um, part of the wording. So, yeah, so if a creature is undead or construct, it doesn't work. Uh, and if you succeed on the save, you're immune to 24 hours. So, the reason I'm not automated things because you can do things like or using the auras um, module to give this feature. If you automated it, what will happen is it will check that every time which I don't want to happen. Uh, so instead, um, I've added this. 
it is literally an aura. It is forced to save out of them. So it gives them a constitution save. And yeah, this is the other thing. So creatures that are immune to poison or the poison condition automatically succeed. So <coughs> you want to be careful with stuff like that. So yeah, all they, all they do each time is start with someone's turn. When they start within 10 feet of the corpse flower, I target them, make the roll, and that'll happen. Um, and to how I know them range, I have this feature for Stench of Death. Let's me. Yeah. It's just a token magic ability, fumes. So if someone is in at 10 feet, I think if I move him away and move him back, it'll probably trigger. Uh, I think a C class has been immune, so let me just pull out a ghoul. Move the ghoul away. Move him back in. There you go. And that's how I know if someone's in the, the range. So they get this little token effect on them, saying that they're in range of the Quartzler Stick of Death. And then all I do is target him. Either way, so I'm going to use it on this. Stench of Death. And force to save that lure. Cool. And on this one, he succeeds. DC is 14. Uh, and that's pretty much it. It's quite simple. Um, slightly annoyed why corpses doesn't work. See if I can troubleshoot this whilst doing this. Oh, I know why it doesn't, doesn't work. Because I have to target it. Uh, now let's try it. There we go, look. So yeah, so I was going to say it's targeted. Uh, so you can see here it rolls to say uh, 1d6 plus 3. So this one actually got 9. And then you can see here it set both of these uh, functions. Um, if there's no resource to use, I would use that. But... I don't, so it's not a legendary action, it's just using that to track the resources. Um, you could technically track it on the item itself, but I'm not quite sure how to update that. And this makes it easier and clearer for me to see on there. Because obviously, um, if you track it on that feature, you can't then use the other two features to reduce it. You'd have to manually reduce it each time, which is why I got that. I'd love to see a, a module that gave um, NPCs, like resources, that were just legendary. That would be really awesome to see. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, Resistibility, Spy Climb, which says it isn't the SRD. Tentacles, just do um, some poison damage, uh, which is set up there. So yeah, if you didn't know how to do that as a secondary <coughs> feature, uh, if you put in versatile damage, the damage type, and or the dice you're using, and then put square brackets, poison, or the uh, element, it will roll that. So let me show you figure tentacles. Alright, I'm target myself. Let's go tentacles. Attack. Go first tile. So what you can see here it is obviously it's taking a lot of damage, taking 23 points of damage. And that's because the tentacle itself does 15 bludgeoning damage. So that's it. That's the attack roll. Yeah. So 15 is the attack roll. Uh, and then 12 poison damage. No, it's not that very strange. I don't know how that's read. Well, let, me, let me try it normally. We should let's see crits. There we go. 
All right, that makes a lot of sense. So that's the so that's the attack roll. This is the tentacle damage. And also show in the dice roll there. So that's the bludgeon name. And then this is poison. Uh, it forces a save, which is a constitution save. Uh, it failed, so it takes the full damage of 41. Yeah, 41. So, that is, uh, I think, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, because the ghoul is a uh, um, resistance to poison. So you see me trying to figure things out and doing things. <laughs> uh, it's resistant to poison, so it halves the damage. So it should have taken 41. Now it takes 21, because so it will take 21 damage there and half of the poison, which is 10. But yeah, that's my cult flower. Um, it's quite straightforward. It's simple, and it's what I want it to be. And then, um, also allows me to easily summon, so if I go and then when it comes to see it takes it down, I can just off them out. Um, and that's it. Obviously once I've used all those up, there is the harvester dead, so you can add a a uh, corpse back onto it to be used. The way I would do that is just increase it, so I need to automate it. You can just, I mean, you can do. You can just go basically give it a plus to the total, which I believe you can do. But you can't do it in there. So let me look. Uh, you get future usage. You get special. Um, myself. Resource consumption, attributes. So this is a mod I have that shows you all these options, I believe. Uh, uh, so legendary actions. There we go. Uh, legendary action value. Now, I believe if you put minus one, what it does, it actually adds. Obviously, normally it would uh, reverse, so I'll right, target you, target you instead, and then go hold to dead. See the resource? Yeah, you can see there that, that. Come back up. So that's the other way I've automated that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, hope this was interesting. And if you want to see more videos like this I've done for creatures, let me know. Right. Well, thanks all for watching, and um, see you all in the next video.